Hey, welcome back to BizQuid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you natively how to use breakout rooms on Google Meet. So this may be the update that we've all been waiting for. Uh, I'm gonna show you here what we've been doing, okay, is we've been using Google Meet extensions, uh, Chrome extensions to um, do breakout rooms. And you can see the video that I've created on breakout rooms using the Chrome extension. Here I'm gonna show you natively how we can use breakout rooms, okay? Uh, so first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the extensions that I've got. So here you can see, if I go to this part here, that's where my Chrome extensions are and I can go ahead and get rid of like Google Meet breakout rooms. This is like, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from Chrome. So let's go ahead and remove. And I can also go ahead and I can remove um, the Google Meet grid view fix. So I can go ahead and remove that from Chrome as well. So now I know that they're not gonna interfere with um, this setup here. Yeah? Look, you see, they've gone now. So I refreshed everything and it's all gone. Uh, and this here, this little activity here button, this is the breakout room. So really quickly, just in addition to this, I'm gonna show you that if you could press on the three dots and I'll show you the change layout, you can uh, increase the number of uh, participants that you can see on the grid up to 49. So you don't need that grid view fix anymore. So that works there. Here we are, okay. In index laws on page 17, okay. You can make reference to page 17. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like I said, put you in breakout room. So let me go ahead and do that, put you in a little breakout room. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna click on breakout rooms, okay. And now I'm gonna shuffle you around. So let's make, yeah, three breakout rooms. You can choose from here for, we said three, isn't it? We'll stick with three breakout rooms, okay. Just shuffle you into making random breakout rooms and it's gonna divide all of you into different breakout rooms. Any preferences, guys? Does anyone wanna be with someone? Fine, you can choose. Thank you so much. I'm gonna choose random groups then. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle and this, oh, well, let me see. Okay, here we go. That's breakout room one. Uh, one second, I'm gonna create these and you're gonna be pushed into these breakout rooms. When you get pushed into your breakout room, you need to uh, just press on agree, okay? You need to press on you agree to the breakout room. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and create. And this is gonna push you into your breakout rooms. It says breakout rooms are in session. So that's done then. That's put the students in their breakout rooms. But I can I can go ahead and edit the breakout rooms and I can end the breakout rooms as well, yeah? I can go ahead and join any one of these breakout rooms. If I go and join there, I can you know, talk and participate in those breakout rooms as well. So let me go ahead and jump into breakout room three, and then you'll see that I, I can participate in breakout room three. So let me go ahead and join here. So this is now joining. Lars, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Woohoo! Can you see me, Lars? Uh, yeah. So check it out. What I want you guys to do is communicate, collaborate, talk to each other. You're talking about the index laws. What I want you to do is I want you to okay. write an example for each one. Okay, your ATL is research. You'll find examples for each of those index laws. Is that cool, yeah? Yeah. All right, brilliant. So is it just the ones on page 17? Yeah, on page 17, correct. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. So here I'm joining breakout room two just to see how the students are getting on. Hey guys, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So uh, again, what I want you to do is on page 17, you've got seven different index laws. I want you to find an example for each one. The ATL, okay, for this lesson is research. So you can jump onto the internet and find an example for each of those index laws. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Uh, however many you can do in the next 10 minutes, that's all I need you to do. So now I've left I've left the breakout room and I'm joining, I'm going into the main room. So here I'm the only one here. I'm presenting. I'm still presenting because I'm connected on my iPad, but I'm the only one here in the in the main room now. So then here now what you can see is if I click on end breakout rooms, everyone's going to get a notification. It says everyone will be returned to the main room. And just like that, everyone gets populated into the main room. It's going to push, push them into the main room. So now everyone's popping back into the main room here. Let's just wait for everyone to get populated here. All right, well, thank you for that little bit. Uh, I did get some feedback so, of, of some collaboration in the group. That leaves us to the end of the class. 
Thank you for your collaboration and all of the efforts that you've put into this lesson. We'll start off with some of the examples that you've created in your groups from, uh, from this lesson in our next period. If you haven't completed in your group, find an example for each of those index laws, okay? And until next time, I see you next class. Remember, be safe, be strong, and peace out. I'll see you, when do I see you next? I'll see you tomorrow for a single period, uh, period five. Is that cool? All right, peace out. Yeah. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. So consider subscribing and turn on notifications for future videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.